Welcome back to another exciting episode of Jamdong Drones. Today we're going to be looking at the transmission menu in the DJI Fly App for the DJI Mini SE. Okay guys, so we're just going to start by hitting that icon by the upper right of the screen and then we'll be brought to the transmission section. On the transmission, you will be given the option of changing the frequency on which the drone communicates with the controller and a whole lot more. Our first option is live streaming platforms. We click on that to the right and it should give us the RTMP which is a protocol that allows for live streaming. So if you want to live stream a video directly from your drone to YouTube, it can be done by clicking this link. And there's a little bit of setup involved, so I'm not going to be going through that for this video. But I promise I'll make a video dedicated to setting up your account or setting up the requirements to access that feature. Up next is frequency. Frequency is defined as the rate per second of vibration. There are two types of frequency on the DJI Mini SC, the 2.4 GHz frequency and the 5.8 GHz frequency. The DJI Mini SC antennas and controller antennas. The DJI Mini SC drone has two antennas and they are located to the two front legs and inside these legs are some metallic rods that act like antennas. These antennas send and receive signals to the controller and uh, it receives its instruction from the controller via that signal which is the RF signal. Now moving over to the controller we have two antennas. Now these antennas are foldable which makes packing it away and directing it to the orientation of the drone very easy. Now let's take a look at the 2.4 GHz frequency. It has two main features. The features are it has a longer range and coverage and the data travels very slow, or it travels slower than that of the 5.8 GHz. You're probably wondering, when is the best time to use 2.4 GHz frequency? Well, I've got you covered. You could use this frequency when you're in the countryside, or when you're in an area where there is little interference. Interference can come from trees, or mountains, or any solid structure, and even Wi-Fi too. So, you'll notice that in this illustration, the signal is very strong even though the drone is moving far away. Now it's on to the 5.8 GHz frequency. The features are it has a shorter range of coverage and data travels much faster. So you're probably wondering again where would be the best place to use this frequency? Well if you're living in an urban area filled with buildings and a lot of in electrical interference, this frequency will give you stronger connection even in areas where there's a lot of interference. Ok guys let's jump back in the app. Now it's on to channel modes. There are two modes that are in channel modes. The manual mode which allows us to manually select the channel that we want the drone to connect on and the auto mode which allows the drone to do that selection. Now while you're flying your drone will encounter some interference and it's best to leave it on auto so that the drone can make the decision for you and you won't have to worry about a thing more than focusing on flying. To select the channel we scroll down and now we'll be able to see a graph. Now we're going to see some bars and some frequencies. The frequencies to our left and the channels presented by the bars are to the right. While the drone is in manual mode, you can tap on any one of these channels and make your selection. Let's take a closer look. Each channel has a number 149. 153, 157, 161, 163 are all channels belonging to the 5.8 GHz frequency. One more important thing drone fans, not all DJI Mini SEs will be able to detect this frequency. Some like mine which is FCC can only detect channels on the 5.8 GHz frequency. Check your settings to see if your drone can detect frequencies belonging to the 5.8 GHz frequency or the 2.4 GHz frequency. Channels on the 2.4 GHz frequency can range from 1 to 11 and 1 to 13 in some countries like Germany or European countries like Italy or Spain. These countries will have that 13th channel and if you're ordering the drone, it will have to comply with the regulations of your country. 
The bars colored green represent the channels that are stable, while the bars colored red represent unstable channels. The bar that is in white represents the channel that we're currently connected to. When you make a selection of a channel, you'll be prompted that selecting a channel will result in the restarting of the Wi-Fi. That's completely normal. So drone fans, which one of these channels do you think is the best channel to connect to? Or which one of these channels do you think has the least amount of interference? If you guess channel 153, then that means you're correct, as this channel is showing the least amount of interference. If you've made it to the end of the video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. But before you go, I've got one more bonus tip for you. It will send signals going this way, and it will send signals going this way as well. So in other words, it sends the signals in an omnidirectional kind of pattern. So this one, this antenna on the right, it creates these waves, and so does this one. So what that means is that some of the signal is lost going back this way, and some of the signal goes forward. So if the drone is in front of you, you want to position the antennas like this. But if the drone goes above your head, you want to put the antennas down like this. And this is of course to blast the signals going up this way so that when your drone is above in the air, it can still be able to get that signal. So in terms of how you position your antennas, it's very, very important. If you have any other questions about this drone, feel free to comment down below. Until then, it's Jamdung Drones, over and out.